Yeah, yeah. I get copyright. They, they, they'll, get, they'll, they'll fucking slap my shit with a claim so fast. Anyway, hello. How y'all doing? Um, I think the title was gonna already say what I'm talking about, and I don't know if anybody else has noticed this, but um, recently when I was watching the Kendra G show, I seen I've seen once or twice where people mentioned Kendra G being the next Kevin Samuels, and it's true. But it's a little twist to it. If y'all have seen the interview or the time Kendra G and Kevin Samuels met, it was not good. It wasn't no good meeting. It wasn't like, oh, we're, oh, we're friends or I like this guy. No, that's not how that ended. So for people to be telling Kendra G she's the next Kevin Samuels, I'm sure that's probably offensive to her. But it is true. Kendra G is slowly being forced into being the next Kevin Samuels. I think before Kendra started her dating show, I think she had some very black and white clear ideas about everything Kevin Samuels saying being wrong. Uh, like a lot of us do, but some women, some of us kind of live in, oh, I'm getting trouble. I'm getting trouble. I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, well, I'm grown. I can't get in trouble. Being so being funny, but um, some of the stuff he said toward the very end, right before he passed on, he started saying he started going too far. Which you're like, how how could how could he have gone too far? He was already too far, but he went too far when he was doing a commentary about if your child says the person you're with did something to him and not just believe it was some stuff he said that was questionable toward the end and uh but a lot of more than half the stuff he said i actually kind of agreed with oh y'all go unsubscribe oh well i'm at a point with this channel where i don't care now i'm just i've made <laughs> a decent amount off the little youtube at this point and it's a lot of work content creating is a lot of work and I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna do whatever the fuck, the fuck I want now on this channel. We'll just see where it goes. Anyway, back on topic. Um, I'm what so Kendra probably had some set ideas in her mind about Kevin and the way he was doing things and how wrong he was. Right, I'm assuming. But Kendra didn't have the experience with dealing with these people, with these trifling men and women, men and women out here. She didn't know yet what he knew and over the course of her show singles y'all hold on let me pause i'm at the pause but yeah so over the course give me a second i'm doing a little shopping at tarjay over the course of her show singles kendra has been slowly driven to madness by these idiots on that show and their demands and what they expect from dating and how in the fantasy world that the men and women live in. She started out being so nice and outgoing and sweet. And with the recent shows, I think she's burned out. She needs to take a break. But what I'm also noticing is Kendra's getting meaner. Kendra's getting meaner because she's realizing what Kevin Samuels already knew. There's no hope for these people. The people that come on that show... What... Well, for one, if you come on that show, if you put your whole life, like, if you open yourself up and your dating life onto the internet, I, I've done videos about my dating life, but I don't go on a TV talk show and say, hook me up and let people in the comments rip me up. You already have to be a little bit crazy to do that. But how bad is your dating life where you're going on this show and trying to get help from a stranger in this big wide world full of online dating? And all these avenues to meet people. You have to have somebody on YouTube beg for you to meet people. So just based off that premise alone, things are already bad. You already have been, you know, fucking up. <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, over the course, Kendra now sees the broken people that Kevin was having to talk to on the phone. And these people were like, 
they're totally delusional. They're like, for example, I hate to I hate to start with the women. Oh yeah, okay, no, I'll start with the men. I'm, I'm gonna be uh, I'll start with the men. She'll bring a man, all right. How old are you? Um, 34. Oh, okay. Oh, that's another thing before I start. Every episode, Kendra's like, Kendra asks the same questions, right? Hold on, y'all. Oh, got my card hanging out. Kendra asks the same questions. Sometimes she has the same questions three times in a row. And every single time, these idiots come on a show and look stupid about the questions she asks. Every, y'all, I'm getting some pillows for Princess. I got a, uh, just bought her a new comforter. So, I don't know why I haven't done that in a long time. I just hadn't. I need to, I'm, I'm trying to fix her room up so she can feel good in her room. Not that she does it now, but I need to refresh her room. Oh, what's that? Okay. And, uh, I got to get a couple other things. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay, focus, focus. Anyway. So, anyway. 34 years old. Uh, she has the same questions. Kendra asked the same question so many times in a row. How can you not know what she's going to ask you when you come on that show? But without fail, every single time, they act stupid. Like, oh, I didn't know you were going to ask me that. Oh, oh what'd you say? Oh, how old am I? She asked the same questions ten times in a row. You know what she's going to ask. And they act stupid every time. So anyway, back to the 34-year-old. So, 34 years old. Okay. How many kids you got? Uh, 14. 14 kids yeah 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 but they are all they're all teenagers you have 14 kids yeah 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 but they're all they're all teenagers okay how many moms 16 16 moms so you're 14 kids yeah 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 but they're only teenagers only one's a baby and she never catches that part when they lie and then they slip up <laughs> and then they tell the truth in the lie Kendra never catches that lie the, the, the audience, us in the um, chat room, we always catch it. So then she'll go on. Uh, what do you do for a living? Oh, um, I'm a music producer. Eh? Are you hitting hits? You're writing credits? No, 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 no. But I need a woman who can understand and be patient with me while, while I work on my music career. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Well, um, why would, why would a woman want to date you? Mm, they never know. They never know why a woman would want to date them. <laughs> you should ask the same questions. Why don't y'all write the answers down before you come on the show? So it's just a lot of that. Her dealing with that. These people can't even sell their own selves. They can't even tell you why they are worthy of having a relationship. Or then you have the ones who are just like, they're way more confident than they should be. And then they got all these things that make them great. And it's like, I don't know what you're seeing, but that's not just from visually. You look a mess. Uh, let me think what else. So same guy, 34. I was like, I'm out of breath. It gets towards the end. And then Kendra's like, so what kind of woman are you looking for? Well, I prefer her with no kids. Sir, you have 14 kids with 16 different women. I mean, I know, I know, but you know, I already got enough mouths to feed. I need her not to have any children. So it's stuff like that. She has to deal with people like that all the time. So she's just being, that's the kind of stuff Kevin had to deal with. And then Kevin just started losing his mind. Kevin Samuel did not start out being that mean ass man he turned into. Those people drove him insane. Uh, let's say it's a woman. Kendra's like, how, how old are you? Uh, 52. Oh, okay, 52. Cool, cool, cool. Have you ever been married? Uh, no, but I am looking for a husband. The, the other lady the other day, who Kendra actually picked on. Whoa. Kendra actually picked on, but the lady, uh, didn't ask to be on camera. The woman who was 50 years old, uh, no children, and she wanted somebody else without children. That's like, she's just gonna be alone. And that's her choice. And that's her right. But it's people like that, like, you 50, not married, no kids, cool, but you want the same. Uh, even a man without kids going to have some kids. Look, this used to be a dollar. Uh-uh, if I'm going to get these cookies for a dollar twenty-nine, 
Okay, better be three whole cookies. Oh, these are so good, y'all. They're so good. I love them. I love them. But, um, so yeah, so yeah, she's 50. No kids, no hug. No kids, never been married, and wants a man that's the same. That's not realistic. But I don't want to bring that lady up because, again, that lady, that, that's an example of a real person. That's not realistic. Or, I'm on the wrong side of the store. Or the, oh, I just saw some lobster ravioli. Ugh, I don't know about that. Or the infamous, um, well, okay, what kind of guy are you looking for? Well, I need him to make six figures. Excuse me. How you doing? I'm good. Good. I need him to make six figures. Oh, well, what do you do for a living? Well, I don't work right now. I would like I would like a man to be a a provider. Six figures or more. But you don't work right now. Exactly, Kendra. That's why I need a provider. Like just crazy ass people. And then how do you want him to look? Here we go. Here we go with these people who live in fantasy land. At least six feet. <laughs> Every single woman at least six feet tall. Well, how tall are you? I'm 4'2". You're 4'2 and you want somebody six feet tall. But ma'am, that's not realistic. Well, I know. That's just my preference. And, and I'm, I'm not going to lower my standards. Me and my kids are not going to lower our standards for anybody. Okay. <laughs> All righty, ma'am. And then she just, she didn't say anything for a long time. Okay, I'm looking for some pantyhose for Princess. Yeah, I have to pause. Hold on. Sorry, y'all. I don't know if I've ever bought this girl stockings before. I don't even know what size. She little as hell. She's going to be burning up in these tights. You know, as Texas is 104. My kid is going to burn up. She's going to beat my ass. Shoot. But yeah. But yeah, she'll be like, yeah, I need him to be at least, at least six feet. Me and my kids are not going to settle for anything less. <laughs> so these people, like, the people I hear on this show, uh, and just visually, visually some of the people I see on Kendra's show don't have any business having any standards i fucking said it if you come on a national youtube show that gets something like forty thousand views each time it comes on and your hair is all over your head you don't have a bra on your big badonka donks are hanging to your knees and you're such a fucking unaware moron that you don't know that looks disgusting and crazy you don't deserve standards if you're a man and you come on Kendra's show with no fucking shirt on, you don't deserve standards. You're an idiot. You don't deserve to go on a date with anybody. But Kendra's been watching those idiots and the people on that show. I mean, they're just one, one's worse than the other. But she's just been watching that stuff and dealing with it. And you can tell those people are getting to her. They're driving her totally nuts. And she is slowly... She's getting to now with the women. She used to be real sweet with them and kind of let them say anything. But now Kendra will be like, now hold on. One lady recently, and this is the last thing I'll say, and then I'm going to shut up and go away. One lady recently, <laughs> speaking of no bra, this behemoth, this beast, didn't have a bra on and should have had a bra on. I got, God bless me with enough where I wear bras 90% of the time. And the stomach was just, look at my, you see how that big old thing's covered? I covered that big thing up. It was disgusting. She, was, she looked disgusting. And appeared on that camera wearing clothes that you wear in the house by yourself. You don't even wear anything like that with people in your house. But looked absolutely disgusting. And appeared on Kendra's show. And I, if I was Kendra, one lady Kendra showed up, Kendra looked at her and just cut it back off again. She should have cut it back off again because... Kendra has a reputation, and she did. Anyway, anyway. That lady appeared on a show, ended up hanging up on Kendra because Kendra read her ass, her, her rights. She read her the riot act. At some point, while Kendra was talking to the woman, a man that she was currently sleeping with appears in the video at her house while she's cooking dinner. 
And so Kendra's like, wait a minute, what the hell is this? Y'all are, oh, I gotta get a shower liner. Y'all, it's too far away. You know what, I'm here. I gotta get a shower liner around here. Okay, one more thing. Oh, they're gonna closing up on me. Oh God, I don't even know where to go. Is it back there? Oh my God. Excuse me. Oh. 30 minutes. That's time. Okay. Kind of but, um, Kendra. Okay. I ain't gonna be here. Okay. 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 So, yeah. So, Kendra read her the riot act. And then, because she had to. Because you come on this dating show like you're serious. You're such a low life. The person that you're currently sleeping with, you have in the background of the video. You don't even have enough respect to even hide that you're an animal. She couldn't take it. She tore that lady up without even saying a curse word. When you tear somebody up without cussing them out, that's when you really be tearing them up. That lady, and she asked the lady, or oh, Kendra was like, do you understand what I'm saying? Do you see how you're going to get plenty of men, but nobody's going to take you seriously? They all just down the fuck. If you got a man you fucking in your house, in the background, while you're on the show looking for a new man, all you're going to attract is men who are down to fuck. How do you not understand that? And she's like, well, if you put it that way, it's just hung up. <laughs> but yeah, that's just, that's what Kevin Samuels, see, I don't want to give that man no credit. I really don't. But I think, I didn't listen to him a lot, but some of the stuff I saw, he was dealing with some real idiots. And he just, he went crazy. When you have to deal with stupid people a lot, like too long, stupid people make you crazy. They'll make you like, they'll make you lose your mind because you have to be patient with them. And then stupid people who think they're smart, oh God, you want to just murder them. Oh, let me shut up, let me shut up. <laughs> I gotta find a shower curtain. Here I am. Oh my God. Look at all that cute stuff. Ooh, <laughs> but um yeah that's why he became so horrible he in my opinion he was horrible at the end but them people drove him to it and Kendra's head in the same direction because there's idiots on that show who have completely insanely unrealistic uh, un unrealistic requirements and expectations just complete idiots but um, it sure is entertaining. But anyway, let me end the video by saying I'm going to... Now, why is this $3 and this $2.99? What kind of stupid shit? <laughs> you see? Stupid shit. Wait, can y'all see that? You can see my big old head. That is $2.99. That is $3. What the fuck is that? Anyway, I'm going to be reviewing the show uh, as I'm able to and everything. I, I don't technically go to a place of biz of work right there. I don't know what I'm doing with my day. I, I do shit though. I'm very busy doing shit. But I hope y'all watch that and we'll see. If you don't, I ain't gonna be doing it for long. But yeah, Kendra is becoming the new Kevin Samuels. And she don't even want the crown. But it's being forced on her head. Because she's all we got to help these dateless people out here. I'm dateless. I'm undateable. I have a short temper. I am extremely unreasonable. I can be mean as much as I can be kind and loving. I'm a mean motherfucker. And people, and I'm over 40, ain't nobody putting up with that shit. When you 20 through 32, you can be a smart mouth. You could be an asshole. Guys think that shit's cute. If you're over 40, acting like an asshole and being mean and short-tempered, like, man, if you don't take your old ass on, that's where I'm at. I know I'm single. I'm not like them idiots who don't know. I'm undateable. And I don't give a... I'm, I'm good with it because I ain't changing. Fuck y'all. <laughs> so I just wish they know. I wish they had the self-awareness that I have. That I'm not going to never find nobody because I'm not changing. See, I'm good with that. You see how, how I get that? I have self-awareness. They need that too. But anyway, so I hope y'all... Watch my reviews of that show. Uh, that's it. Bye. Go shop and buy some shit I can't afford.